Students at Chagas' Agricultural College in Kildalton have been learning how to drive tractors indoors. Farmland paid a visit and Vice Principal James Ryan explained how the technology has benefited students while machinery specialist Francis Quigley went through the ins and outs of how it works. I think uh, we brought it uh, as, a, as a tool to uh, help students that come from limited, um, limited experience on their home farms. I think it's essential that uh, they get used to uh, the simulator and then maybe once they've gained confidence on the simulator they can go forward and move on to the real thing on the tractors but I think uh, the simulator is very real it's very uh, lifelike and uh, it works really well and students seem to benefit from it students seem to uh, to be able to uh, take the experience from the simulator and then put it in uh, in the real world on the tractor so I think it's it's a very beneficial tool to us here in the college. Yeah, my name is Francis Quigley, I'm the machinery specialist in Chagas and we're here in Cadalton today and we're just looking at the simulator uh, that's been in here on trial for the last number of weeks. The simulator was in here on trial and um, I suppose it was uh, something we came across at the Lama Show a number of years ago um, and we just thought it would be a, a, an excellent tool for helping the weaker students uh, to develop their skills. The student actually has to, before they can actually operate the, the tractor, they have to go through, identify various components on the tractor then they'll uh, be asked to go through a series of pre-start checks, so safety checks such as mirrors, such as checking uh, the tyres, checking wheel rims, uh, and then once they've assessed that the tractor is fit and safe to use, then they can progress on to carry out a number of different tasks. Some of the tasks that they have to do are driving through an obstacle course, so the first task is relatively easy, it's just the operator uh, with uh, just a tractor with no implement attached and they'll drive down through an obstacle course. But as they go down through the obstacle course it gets progressively more difficult and the, the simulator is able to record any mistakes or any uh, bollards or that that they uh, may, might hit as they progress through it. It really gives them a great opportunity to, I suppose, to build confidence, you know, so that they can get up on this machine. We've you'd nervous uh, students who haven't a lot of experience uh, uh, when they go down the yard and they've uh, getting up in a big machine for the first time. Uh, it can be very daunting and they can be very nervous uh, trying to do tasks down there. Whereas up here, they're a lot more confident and a lot more relaxed. If they hit something or bang something, it doesn't matter. You know, they can just even, uh, God forbid, uh, they do serious damage to the tractor. They just press restart and, and everything goes again. I suppose the, the, the ideal situation would be that they'd have done maybe five, ten hours on the simulator uh, and to a certain standard. Uh, there is reports that will be generated from the unit and we can see uh, how well they've progressed on the simulator. If we feel they need more time on the simulator, we can give more time on the simulator but if we feel that uh, they're confident and competent on the simulator then they can go out and uh, uh, work on the real thing. It's more complicated unfortunately tractors are becoming uh, with controls and everything and it can be very daunting uh, for somebody coming from maybe a basic tractor getting up into a high-end tractor uh, for the first time. As operator skills improve students move on to more complicated tasks before graduating to the outdoors. Uh, Jack and Luke are on our advanced machinery course so we would expect them to have a high level of skill on the tractor operation but uh, there is other uh, tools and equipment on it such as the combine. There's a whole range of different machines uh, that can be used. I would say there's balers, mowers, so even if it takes something like the baler, if he gets into the baler uh, and he engages uh, a thousand speed PTO uh, instead of the 540, he'll damage that baler and his, uh, his session will be over and he'll have to bring the, the baler back to the yard to be repaired. Other uh, items that can be done is even you know hitching on and off trailers. Uh, so there's uh, a full hitch control and unlock, uh, raise and lower the arms to, to uh, drop off that trailer and then to pick it up again. Francis hopes that in the future simulators will become the norm at agricultural colleges throughout the country. Simulators are, are have huge benefits. You know, they're being used across all sorts of industries. You know, we can even see from the construction equipment that's on this, uh, the the skills and information that's been produced out of that. I think if if, if it's engaged with, that can only be good uh, coming from it.